Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe I am making the last video in 2019, but I'm super excited to bring this to you as it is the plan with me for January 2020. And honestly, I'm not going to delay it anymore, friends. Let's get right into it. And just like that, friends, we are lighting a candle and 2020 is here and we are putting together our January spread. I can't believe this is happening, but I am super excited for it. I'm actually in like the last few days of my old journal and I am just anxiously starting, <laughs> waiting to start the new journal. I'm so excited. I This is definitely the most dedicated I've been and just excited with how it came together, how functional it is, how beautiful it is, and I am so happy to share it with you guys. Now, with that being said, I do have to share thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for the outpour of love that there has been on my 2020 setup. If you have not seen that yet, I will make sure to link it in here, but I am just in awe of how many people have seen it and what you guys think of it because it means so much to me and it's just a great start to the year and it lets me know that I am on the right track to share these with you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now on to the theme of this first month of the year. As you can see, it is hygge. If you are not familiar with that word, it is really just about embracing the current state you're in being present, but really being with the people that you love in a space that you love with food that you love. <laughs> in my opinion, it doesn't get much better than that, but I just really needed a reminder to slow down here at the beginning of the year. We are getting out of post holiday. And so I needed something clean and calming and that just felt like home. That is to me what Huga is. And so I really wanted to find a way to bring that onto paper. A lot that's associated with that would be like blankets and sweaters, coffee, candles. And to me, the candle thing just really stuck out. So this is even kind of a candle theme. So feel free to use that if that's something that inspires you. But I just love how clean and simple this came together. Now, I did just use black and gray colors this month, except for the little pop of gold in the candlelight. Other than that, it is all gray and black. I needed it, like I said, just to be simple, a fresh, clean start, and I love how it came together. Also, in one of my recent videos, I did talk about smearing of my ruler and the marker that I was using with my Papermate markers. I am not having any issues with bleeding once I move it because it dries super quick. So. I will definitely make sure to link that in description as well below because I have honestly loved these markers. Yes, there are ones that are definitely more fine tipped. However, these work great. They don't bleed through. So I am a big fan and want to make sure that I share that with you guys. And then over here on the right hand side, I am just filling in my trackers. I do these every month just to see where I'm at. How am I engaging with you guys? And so it's just a fun little reminder of what I am working on because I definitely want to make sure that YouTube is one of my primary focuses here in 2020. And I do always start off my month with a little bit of washi tape. Just I can quickly go back to the beginning of the month and find out where I'm at. So it's just a really nice functional way of starting off this monthly spread. Moving on, this is my habit page as well as mood page this month. I did go ahead and combine them and wanted to do something different than what I've done before. Setup's definitely a little bit different, but I think that is part of 2020 is challenging myself and seeing what I can put together. And I actually really liked how this came out. We'll see how good I am at using it as always. This month though, I'm actually quite proud of how well I have stuck to my trackers whether I have done the things that I'm supposed to, that's a different story, but I'm sure you'll get to hear that in future videos. Now I do just have on here, hydrate, making sure I get steps in because I am starting a new step bet, limiting sweets, and then reading for 10 minutes, which may even become podcast. 
I just really think I need some me time and I am looking forward to that. And hopefully I'm gonna make the time for that. <laughs> Now here at the bottom, this is my mood tracker where I kind of outlined our window that we have at home because to me that is just coziness. I love the way it looks and I love sitting there with a cup of coffee looking out on this little hilltop, especially if it snowed. So hopefully we'll get some more of that, but by the end of the season, I might change my mind. Because if you don't know, this is our first time here in Ohio and I am just loving this weather. Now, even for the moods, I did stick to just three different tones of gray because I really wanted to keep the colors down in this spread. And so if you can see, there are little outlines of the 31 days on here um, where I'm just gonna do little scribbles like what you see for each day, depending on how my mood is. So just really want to do it nice and simple, but where I can still track it. Now I am challenging myself a little bit because I am going to do 31 days of hookah, as you can see. So I have actually come up with 31 things that to me is defined as hookah. Yours may be different if you choose to do this. And I'm going to go ahead and write them all down here. I'm not going to assign a date. But essentially my goal is to do a one of these per day. I may do two one day and skip one, but just really taking time to focus on me and the people that I love and being present in this world. So I am gonna outline here the 31 things for the month and hopefully have them all done by the end of the month. And once I have completed them, I will check mark them and write the date. Now, as I said, these may be different for you, and honestly too, some of them are more complicated than others and simple. One of them is taking a nap. And if you know me, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing because <laughs> I am not a good napper, but sometimes I also know that my body just needs that rest. And so we'll see if I can get it completed or not, but even as simple as taking a coffee break or having a pajama day just to have some fun. I think it's so important to be present in the moment and just do things because they're fun and that's really what I'm looking to do. I don't think I've told you guys yet, my word of the year that I have come up with is actually breathe. And so I'm really reminding myself to slow down, be present, not be so hard on myself and live a little bit more in the moment. As I'm on this journey of growth, I think it is really important because when I get too hard on myself, I fall off track. My husband knows this more than anybody. So that's just why that reminder of breathing and slowing down is super important. Now moving on to our weekly spreads. If you don't know, I like to do them different every week just to really switch it up. Some of them I love more than others, but I wouldn't learn that if I didn't do them all. So. I am actually really excited with how this one came together. I think it's super simple, super creative. However, I haven't done one with these long columns before, and I am a very task-based person. So we'll see how it goes with the space. I'm not the biggest notes fan at the bottom, but I might find good use of it. So we will see, but just really wanted to slow down here nice and simple with some textures. And then of course, my little reminder of just getting cozy. So no candles on this page, but it definitely still incorporates the feel that I was going for. And then this is probably more typical of the layout that I like of where I have my little columns that go vertically. No, horizontally. <laughs> Yes, horizontal. So just really liking how this one came together and the font of it. And honestly, with these, I just create them as I go. I kind of have an idea what I want it to look like. And then I get more creative as I actually put it all together and add my color. Sometimes I add shading, but this is actually, yeah, this is, I think, my favorite spread of this month, at least for the weekly spreads. I will say I just really like how it came together and the vibe of it. So maybe at the end of the year, I'll do like a combo of all my favorites. <laughs> Probably not, but who knows? I just really like how this came to be. This to me is just one of my favorite layouts because I feel like it has a great overview. I know some of you guys 
like to fill it out where you just have your little weekly events on the side and then fill it out day by day because sometimes you need more space than others. I like already having that space defined. This month I really did try to play around a little bit more with fonts. They are definitely not one of my strong suits, but I just wanted to have a bit of variety in it just because it is so simple. I will have to say it was tough for me to tone down and scale this simplicity, but I am really happy that I did and I love the overall look. But normally I definitely do get cream more creative with the looks that I put together. So a bit different, but again, loving how it came to be. There is a girl that I follow on Instagram who does all black and white bullet journaling. And oh my God, it is so, so beautiful. I just don't know that I could commit to it every month, but definitely had to test it out. And why not start the year off strong? Now, as I'm getting to know some of you guys out there, I would actually really love to know how long you've been bullet journaling. So please feel free to leave a comment below as I am getting to know you guys. I'm just curious as to whether this is something you guys do on the side and you just started it or if you've been doing it for a while because I've been doing it for three years and I still love watching bullet journal um, video creations. I just think they are so inspiring. I love the different ways that people do them. And so I would just love to know whether you are new to this journey or if you've been doing it for a while, because it's just fascinating to me how differently they can all be um, and testing out new things. So that is definitely one of my big things that I am trying this year is also just being different with this. Moving on to the next week on here, again, a familiar setup for me. This kind of looks like my habit tracker that I put together. Very similar boxes that I have here, similar font with the little candles. So just wanted to tie things together. But one I of the amazing things about bullet journaling, I really feel like it's just the versatility of them and how differently we can all use them and make them our own. And who knows, maybe halfway through the years, there are gonna be things that I switch up that I have done for forever that I now wanna do different. And then if I regret it later on, I can just go back and switch it back to my old habits. How many times can I say back? <laughs> and I don't have to compromise a whole journal on it, which is again, another thing that I love about this. And honestly, I put so much time and dedication into these that they are just journals that I wanna hold on to because it reminds me of where I was in the moment when these were created. I definitely love seeing the progress that I've had over the years. And again, I am so excited for this year because it is definitely my best one that I have done so far. Again, super simple here. I just love how this is coming together. It really just incorporates, again, the theme of Puka. I am very big on the law of attraction and what you put out there and how I speak to myself. So I just needed this cool reminder and simplicity for this upcoming month, especially as we are packing away the holidays, we're slowing down, getting back into the new normal. So let's go ahead and take a look of what we have put together. Again, I love the simplicity and the colors that I've selected in being able to outline with a ruler and just keep it nice and simple. I am just planning to stick to the gray and black this month. So I'm really excited to do a flip through at the end to see how that all came together. And I may just share it with you guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will absolutely be bringing you a spread next month. I hope what I had put together is inspiring you. And if you do decide to make any of these creations, please make sure to tag me on Instagram under Sarah's Journey. I would also love for you to join the Sarah's Journey family. So please subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and I will see you guys next week.